Dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Grind Boxing. Chris Eubank Jr. has an explosive victory over Liam Smith. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's talk about it. This is Power Grind Boxing, and this is the wide world of boxing. I need you to brace yourself. If you a boxing enthusiast or a fight fan, I'm telling you, you're going to really like this one right here. Because this right here is the story of redemption. Yeah. Chris Eubank Jr., made a triumphant return to the ring with a vengeance, and he delivered a dominant performance that has silenced haters, he silenced the doubters, and he ignited his career. And right now on social media, everyone is talking about his great victory or triumph over Liam Smith. I'm telling you, man, the, set, the, the stage was set. It was definitely an explosive um, rematch. And Eubank, he seized the moment with both hands because I'm telling you, the opportunity of a lifetime was right there. And he has reignited his career. They were in Manchester, England. I want to say it was the AO Arena. Now, look, I might be incorrect about where they was at, the specific location. But I'm saying, man, I'm doing this off the top of my mind. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey, please leave it in the comment section if I'm wrong. You got what I'm saying? But this is what I will say. The echo of this victory, I'm telling you, it was monumental. Because he, Eubank, meaning, um, he redetermined and rewrote his own strip. You got what I'm saying? Because it seemed like everybody was writing him off. And then with this victory over Liam Smith, now he's back. And it's like he never left. You feel what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Because when you are on top, people got to ride your wave. But when you're falling, then, you know, people are like, hmm, hmm, they want to ignore you. You feel what I'm saying? But let's get back to Eubank. You feel what I'm saying? Fierce determination, a very strategic adjustment with, you know, <laughs> Bomac. Eubank has turned the tables officially in boxing, especially as it applies to his boxing career. The 10th round, Eubank unleashed a relentless assault. I'm talking about a barrage of punches that left the referee, Kevin Parker, forced to halt the bout. I think it was like one minute and 45 seconds. It was a great moment of redemption and everybody throughout the ring arena and throughout social media and the boxing world are talking about it. You feel what I'm saying now? But Chris Eubank Jr., his journey to this point of redemption was, uh, it was marked by a significant change because he enlisted the expertise of Brian Bo Mac McIntyre. Now, he's a trainer that's known for sculpting the pound-for-pound pound champions because you know he's a trainer of Terrence Bud Crawford. You feel what I'm saying? I remember seeing Bud Crawford call um, Eubank like, look, man, you know, good luck on the fight and this, that, and the third. I was like, oh, okay, he must know something that I don't know. And boom, look at what happened. But anyway... That decision to hire uh, Brian Bo Mac McIntyre as a trainer proved to be a game changer because Eubank's transformation was evident. I'm talking about from the first ding ding all the way up to the referee stopping the fight. It looked awesome. His style looked reinvigorated. He had a new energy. He was real calm. You feel what I'm saying? And I will say that this narrative, it, it, it's like, you know, you know, because, you know, you've been um, he been out for different um, injuries and stuff like that, too. Right now, what was crazy, though, is Liam Smith was out due to injuries, you know, and I think that's what caused the rematch to be delayed. But Chris Eubank, he got he had vengeance on his mind. So guess what he had? He had patience. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? He had patience. Boom. You know, he was just chilling. He was like, look, man, I'm going to go ahead and get this comeback victory. And boom, boom, boom. Hey, yeah, hey, that just is what it is. Now, Eubank, he did share that he trained very, very hard for the fight and that he was focused. You got what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you come off a loss, guess what? It makes you bounce back. You have to have dedication. You have to have an unyielding focus because that has to be your driving force, especially if you're trying to revive your career and people are writing you off. So with Eubank's performance, it was categorized and by a, like, I'm going to say a, a blend of offense 
in defense because I noticed that when he was fighting, it was like he was really calculated. You know, I'm going to call it calculated aggression. And I'm telling you, he left Liam Smith struggling to find his rhythm. It's like Smith just could not get it together because um, Eubank was throwing uppercuts. He was throwing jabs. He was throwing hooks. I was like, yo, man, what is this dude doing right here? You got what I'm saying? But this is what I will say. Every single punch was a testament to the relentless pursuit of redemption and victory as it applies to Eubank. And when that final bell rang, Eubank's victory was a testament to his own resilience and unwavering commitment and total belief in himself. He had a dominant performance, and you could see that in the punch stats. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of it. I'm talking about these punches were accurate. He was controlling um, most of the rounds. Look, yo, I was just like, hey, dude, this dude looks really good in this performance right here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I always try to get out of here with a moment of motivation. So I'm going to say that Chris Eubank Jr., his redemption story should teach you and teaches us that setbacks can fuel the greatest comebacks on the planet you feel what i'm saying so as long as you have dedication perseverance and a willingness to adapt then you can turn adversity into a victory or into a triumph do you feel what i'm saying so it's not about how hard you fall it's about how you get back up and redefine your future so mad shouts out to chris eubank jr because his journey should remind you that every challenge is an opportunity to grow now in life we all know that we go through ups and downs in life right and sometimes life throws a lot of punches at us. You got what I'm saying? But guess what? You got to be able to bob and weave and duck and slip all of those punches because you got the power within yourself to pursue victory. So I need you to channel your energy into overcoming obstacles and emerge a stronger and a better version of yourself. Do you feel what I'm saying? This is Power Ground Boxing feel free to um like comment and uh, subscribe stay fight ready and stay on the grind we out of here